Hi friends. So I am just making simple embellishments out of die cuts and scraps of paper. So these are what I have started with. These ones I've already put sentiments on. So this one's Believe. This one was the first one. I'm not particularly happy with it. But it's my first one and like I've said before, it always takes me one or two to get started. So um, I'm not real happy with the way that I made the banner just kind of shoot off of there. But um, somebody will appreciate it. So I'll just keep it, send it to somebody, and um, hang on to it. So this was my next one. And this one. I haven't put a little silver star on this one yet. So let's go ahead and do that. I have these little stars. It's just little pieces of confetti that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I've been using the little tiny ones that came in it. They, it came with three different sizes and I've been using the little tiny ones like crazy on my ATCs, but I haven't been using the bigger ones. So I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to use the bigger ones. I need more glue. So I am going to try to use some of these up, okay? So that's this one. And they're really quick to make, so let me get some sentiments on these. I like to have my stars with one of the points up. That's just the way I like to do it. You can do it however you want. Now this is a Tiny Bird sticker sheet. If you want one of these, I'll tell you how to get it, okay? So I think I'm gonna put a purple one on here. Let's do this one. This is perfect, shine bright. I did not make these tiny words. But if you keep watching, I'm gonna do a little teaser here. If you keep watching somewhere in this video, I will tell you where you can go to get your free download of this sticker sheet. How does that sound? So I'm gonna stick that one. I think I made this so that it goes, yeah, this direction. So I'm gonna put this one right here and I don't necessarily want it to be all straight in one direction. So I'm gonna put it there Get another one of these little silver stars. Whoops, my glue caught that. So this is the problem I have, and if any of you have a suggestion for me, let me know. I have all of these little containers of different size papers, die cuts, larger scrap pieces of paper, tiny scrap pieces of paper, die cuts, die cuts, die cuts, <laughs> um, flowers. I have a menagerie of little containers all around me and it drives me absolutely nuts. But I have not come up with a solution for my embellishment building supplies. Look how cute that looks. And so this is the way I work. Now, as you saw, if you watched my video of where I found those containers for my desk, those pink stackables, I thought that those were going to work. And they didn't. I'm trying to find another word here off of this sticker sheet. Let's see if there's one up here in pink. Um, make wishes. And I don't know what to do at this point for my little pieces of paper. What do you guys use? Oops, I just dropped that on the floor. I don't know. I don't know what to use. I don't know how to organize this stuff. I don't know what's going to work for me. 
I need it all out. I need to be able to see it. Make wishes. So if you have any suggestions or you can tell me ways that you do it, it would be so appreciated. I thought about one of those carts. I don't know what they call them. You know those carts that you get at, um, can't think, Ikea. That one is really stuck together. I can't think of the name of those carts. You know those cute little carts? Thought it might be good to put that, put it all in that, and then that way I can just like will it over to my desk and have it on the side of me. That might work. I don't know, you guys, I need help. These are all kind of stuck together. But this system, it might be the only way to do it, but it honestly drives me nuts. I just want to be more organized with it. Make a wish. Okay, so I like those tiny word stickers more than I like these bigger ones. What do you guys think? Do you like the tiny ones better? I do. Okay, so let me put those aside and let's start from the beginning. So I cut these stars out of my Cricut machine. And I, you know, I typically just cut out of solid colored cardstock. And I thought, why do I do that? Why don't I use some of my papers that have design on it and this is thinner paper this isn't even thick it's thicker than copy paper but it's not as thick as cardstock and I thought why don't I use that paper to cut out um, shapes to cut out die cuts so I did it I just went for it and I think they came out really super cute so this is just a book page that I cut into strips I'm just gonna cut it long enough you know I'm just gonna eyeball it and cut it long enough however long I want it for the start, and then how I um, flag the ends of my strips of paper. So you'll see some people cut like this. They'll like find the center, and then they'll go from the corner to the center, and the corner to the center, and that's how they cut their little flags. Mine still don't come out even. The way that I do it is I cut to the middle, right? You can find your middle, and then this way to the middle, and pull it. So see that, this one looks more even than that one to me. And that's not even how I normally do it. I'll show you how I normally do it. I always forget that this is gonna be hanging over a little, so you don't wanna go all the way to the tip, just in the middle. You can just eyeball it, and I'm gonna stick it down at an angle, if you want it to go straight, they look cute that way too. Okay, and then I'm gonna take another one. And these are little tiny pieces of paper, but this is how I normally do it. I cut to the middle, I flip it, and then I cut it off. Okay, so I cut to the middle, I flip it, and then I cut it off. Now I've had a lot of comments and this may be easier for me to say because I don't have arthritis. I don't have severe arthritis. I do have arthritis, but it doesn't flare up very often, so I can pretty much say that arthritis really isn't a problem for me. I do get it occasionally up in this joint on this finger and down in this joint in this finger where it swells up so bad that it takes a couple of weeks for it to go down. Um, and I use turmeric for it. If any of you haven't heard of that, you might want to look into it. But they say that they just can't cut because of their fingers. But, and this may just be that I'm reading too much more into it. But when I cut, I hold my scissors really loose. 
really super loose. And when I cut something, let me see if I can find something to cut. Hold that thought. Got to have something here. I've always got images to cut. Aha, image. So let's cut one of her out. Isn't she pretty? I'm going to cut my paper down. So when I cut, this is how I hold my scissors. I don't move my scissors a lot, and I use, I really concentrate on a very let me come out on a very light grip. I move my paper really lightly. I'm barely even gripping my scissors. This hand is doing all of my turning. If anything, my wrist on this hand is turning more than anything. Emma, will we put a gas hopper? Yeah, she'll probably eat it. But she won't mess up her legs. Well, she, she'll just eat it. That's just the cycle of life. But my sister loved that gas hoppers. Oh, it's just an insect. It'll be okay. Just an insect. But me and my sister care about insects. The main thing is to have patience with it. You know, don't get yourself all tensed out. Now, if you can't do it, that's okay, then don't do it. But I'm just showing you that you don't have to grip these scissors. You don't have to white knuckle it. Just do it slowly and relax. I'm not putting any pressure onto my fingers. These are not expensive scissors. These are probably the cheapest scissors I could find. They're from the paper studio. The dog ate a grasshopper and so now they're upset about that. So give it a try. I mean, obviously, I don't have the pain or arthritis, so I probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But I'm really not using the joints in my fingers much. Cut off that extra paper when it starts getting in your way. And I'm going to go back to where I left off. And I'm still not white knuckling my scissors. If I find myself doing that, I either have to stop for a while and relax. It's all about relaxing. And that's probably why this is so relaxing to me because I am just in a totally relaxed position right now. I'm not thinking about you know, getting to the end of it. 
I'm just enjoying cutting the paper. And that's just me. I know not everybody can enjoy this. Now, I don't necessarily want the flatness on top of her head, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through here and cut this as if it's not cut off at the top, right? So I can go in here and where that leaf is cut off, I can probably get that to look more like a leaf like that. Just cut that rose off there, or that leaf off there. Go here. My wrist honestly gets more tired than my fingers do. And if you use the back of your scissors more than the front of your scissors, it's less um, of a gripping motion. If that starts to get in your way, just cut it away. Okay, and now we're getting into this finer hair. So decide which ones you want to leave on and which ones you want to cut off. You can always draw the wispy parts of her hair back in if you want to or not. You can leave them off, it doesn't matter. I really wasn't planning on doing a cutting tutorial, but it made me think I don't know what made me think of scissor cutting. I've just had a lot of com comments saying that, you know, they have arthritis and that they can't do this precision cutting. And it, it really doesn't take a lot, I don't think. So see, that wasn't bad. And then you've got this image cut out. And it didn't take very long. So I think, you know, a lot of it is, is number one, your scissors. And don't go out and buy an expensive pair of scissors. These are just from the paper studio. Okay, they were cheap, but I love them. They're very sharp, they're very fine. Use the back, as back as you can. The only time that I really use the tips is if I'm going in between a, a pair of legs, okay? Hold them loosely. This is the way that I hold them. I only put these two fingers. This is a guide. This is a guide. And I really use a, a lot more wrist motion than I do finger. I don't white knuckle my scissors. I barely just hold them in there. I use the back part of my scissors back here to do most of the cutting because then you don't have to use hardly any finger motion to it and I use this hand to cut my paper so this hand is pretty much stationary so give it a try see if that helps okay that's enough of a cutting tutorial but see look that's pretty precise cutting anyways let's get back to this sorry I went off there for a minute so let's see so I've got tonnage of papers here so in this box, I have little pieces. These are all just cut out of scraps, little teeny tiny pieces of paper. Then I've got another one of bigger pieces cut up. That would look cute, I like that one too. And I'll just sit and cut these up, you know, when I have downtime and I'm watching videos. I got out my second fine liner bottle and filled it with some glue and I'm waiting for them to send me my new tip. So I'm kind of going in different 
um, directions. With my little pieces of paper. And then I'm going to choose another sentiment. Let's see. I like that one. Naps are fun. Um, I'll choose this yellow one that says make wishes. And if you wanted these words to be bigger, you could blow these up on your computer. You could scan them into your computer if you have a scanner, and then increase the print size. I do that. Once I scan in something, I can increase or decrease the print size. Okay, and then I'm going to put this... I want to stay in focus. I'm pulling it towards myself. I'm going to put it right like that. So this is just a basic shape. You don't have to have a star. If you don't have a star, use a circle. If you don't have a circle, use a square. If you don't have a square, use a heart. If you don't have a die cutting machine, cut them out by hand. So there's that one. Make wishes. I'm going to put these ones in my word box. Where is my word box? See, this is the problem I have. Where did that word box go? I don't know. We'll set them over there. Okay, so those were stars. Let's see what we can do to... These. these are just like bigger stamps that I cut out. Let's do four of them. Why not? Four seems like a good number. You guys can't really see the four, so we'll just I'll set one here. Okay, so we can do a couple of things. We can stick a heart. Okay, so I just put glue on this heart. If you have heart stickers, use heart stickers. If you have any kind of stickers, use heart. It's just a matter of layering things on top of each other. Okay? If you don't have the pattern paper, then just start with a heart. We'll just do a heart next. Okay, so I'm going to take some of my little pieces out of this, and I want them to kind of match. I want them to look good. I'm going to flag my ends. Okay, this one I can put it all the way across because nothing's going to hang off. And I think I'm going to put this one straight across, like that. Okay, I'm going to take a piece of this one. I'm just going to cut a little piece off. Again, I'm going to just flag my end. You can do it straight. This one's a little too big. I want my paper to show in the back. So what I did is I just made my flag smaller. OK, 
Okay, and I'm just going to put that in the center there. Look how cute that looks. And then let's choose a word. How about... This one's cute. Just a little hello. I'm just going to cut this one out. It just says hello. You could back these on a full sticker sheet if you wanted. And then score them all with an X-Acto knife. And turn these into stickers. Squeeze a little bit of glue on there. Stick that right in the center. Look how cute that looks. You got yourself a cute little belly. That's a little close, isn't it? Okay. Now say you didn't have this scallop stamp part for the background. That's okay. Take a heart. This is just a little heart. And we'll just do the same thing. Okay, here's a piece of paper. And it's even bigger, and I won't even cut it smaller in case you don't like to work with really small pieces of paper like that. I'm going to flag it. Again, this is just a piece of scrap paper. I'm going to put it down in the center. I'm going to cut another piece of this paper. It's pretty thin, so don't flag it if you don't want to flag it. But that, that's how good these scissors are. They're pretty precise. Put it in the center. Like that, and then let's pick out a word. We could just do white. Let's do this little one that says remarkable. I like this word sticker because they're tiny words and so they're perfect for these tiny embellishments. glue. That's why these bottles are nice. It's quick and easy to get your glue on there. We're just going to stick this in the in the middle. Now look how cute that is. It's simple and cute. You could add more on there, but you don't have to. It's okay to make simple items. You don't have to gobbly gook them all up with stuff. If you want to go bigger, this is another heart I cut off. This is a thicker cardstock, but it's got a pattern on it. If you don't have the scallop, that's okay. Just cut out a regular heart. If you don't have a die cutting machine, that's okay. Here's another one. This is a thinner paper, but it's cut out of a of a um, printed paper. Put some glue on it, and I'm going to stick this one in the center. This is a bigger, this is a strip of that black and white cardstock that I had left over that I just cut into strips. I'm going to flag it. I'm going to glue it. I'm going to go diagonal on this one. Okay, this is another one. That one's kind of big, so I think I'll pass that one up. Let's find something fun. This is kind of fun. This is just ripped, right? I didn't even cut this one. I just ripped strips. But I am going to flag it. I'm going to put some glue on it. Sorry, you guys. I'm out of screen. 
Let me go back out a bit just to help with that. I'm sorry. It's kind of long. I don't like it, so I'm not going to use it. What else do we have here? Let me look at my bigger... piece better. So this one's going to go a little bit more diagonal. And it's hanging off, which is fine. And then I'm going to take this one that was a little bit thicker. I got stuff sticking to me. Your desk is going to get incredibly messy. Maybe I'll just go over it. So I covered up a lot of that, but that's okay. It's just about layers. And then I think I'll take one of these little pieces and flag it. straight to the heart. Okay, and then I think I'm going to pick a black word. And I don't want anything. I printed this on cardstock because that's just what I happen to have in my printer, but you could definitely just print this on regular copy paper. It's actually easier to, pr to cut when it's on regular copy paper, so whatever you prefer. And I am going to stick that right in the middle. See how cute that is? You can use those to put them on pocket letters and flip books. Um, when you're doing um, scrapbooking pages, you could stick them on ATCs. You do so many things, whatever. Stick them in Happy Mail. Put them on cards that you're making. So let's do some more basic shapes. In here, I just have basic shapes. I had this in a muffin tin, all in um, separated out, right? Well, what happened is my cat knocked them off. And so and that had happened one other time. He jumped up on my desk and knocked the muffin tin, and then I re-separated them. Well, the second time it happened, I said, forget it. I'm not separating them again. So I just threw them all into this um, plastic bin. So now they're just all separated, but look, I have tiny pieces, there's some butterflies in here. These were all cut on my Cricut. I've got different sizes of stamps, smaller, bigger, up to that size. Um, I don't know what that's doing in there. So yeah, they're mainly all stamps, you know, all this stamp shape, all different colors. So let's just pick one, okay? Let's just pick a couple. Let's go with this blue color. So this is what I typically did is I just cut out a bunch um, of this cardstock and then I started to think, why don't I cut, it, cut out um, paper that has patterns on it? But I still have a bunch of these, so I need to use them. And they may, I've made a bunch of embellishments out of these. 
and I can still add them with the papers that I've already, you know, with these papers. I could definitely, you know, make some embellishments like that. But let's let me show you how you can still use the solids. So I'm just going to add a flag there. I'm going to cut a piece of this. So you can just grab a couple pieces of scrap paper and just go for it. You don't even need to get a bunch of supplies out. You don't even have to have a thought of what you're going to do. Just grab a couple things and a tiny worksheet and go for it. Put that one on top. Okay, I think that it needs some color. I'm going to take this. This is one of the papers I used for my covered notebooks. Left over. I'm going to flag it. And if you don't want to flag them, don't flag them. Just put them on there squared. I'm going to put this one on top. I know you're covering a lot of the image, but it doesn't matter. What the thing is, is you're still layering it. And the layering is what looks cool. So let's find a longer. Find a longer sentiment here. I'm cutting this one out. Dwell in possibilities. Didn't get it very straight. It doesn't by any means have to be perfect. You don't want it to be perfect or it doesn't bother you, then don't do it. But get off of there. Hopefully, this fits. Yep, perfect. So see, I covered up so much of that, but you can still see the layers of it. Now, the, if these two blank spots bother you, get some stickers. Um, or, what do I have handy? I have some hearts, but they're pink, so I don't want to use those. What else do I have handy? I have these tiny little circles. These were the negatives. This came in Happy Mail, and I know that these this came from June Arnold in a Facebook group called um, Swap It. She sent me some of these little bows she made. And it just happened to be in my little box there. So let's put that. Look how cute that is. And then these were negatives off my Cricut from something that I cut. And I kept them. Threw them in my little box. And now they look like little polka dots. Okay, I think I'll just put three on there. Look how cute that is. Love it. Okay, so there's that one. But I want to show you guys something. I learned this from Stacy. Um, Pete 
from Pink Poodle Crafts. There goes my word sheet, it just fell off my desk. Okay, let's start with this one. I'm gonna cut this in half. And we'll make a small one to begin with. Let's take this. This is some homemade paper that I made that I used my um, edge punch. I only have one edge punch and I used it and then I I had some extra painted book paper that I did a project on. I saved the paper and I did the edge punch on. And I put it in my scrap and I'm gonna put this paper onto here. Now this is just all scrap paper. Okay, this one I already flagged. I have a whole um, bunch of papers that I've already cut and flagged. No, I don't want to do that because I should have thought about that. I should have thought about that more. This whole thing is just strips of paper. Some of them have a bunch of flagged, like if I get down into the bottom of this, there's so many that are already flagged. Let's use that one. This is another homemade paper that I did. I think I did this for a pocket letter quite a while ago that I cut and just flagged and put it in my box. Let's use that for the back. So see, I'm just layering pieces of scrap paper. Here, let's put this one. Another piece of partially painted paper, book page paper. I just put it in my scraps. Let's stick this on here. I think I can't tell if that's upside down. I don't know how to read music. So let's just stick that on there since I've already got glue on it. Okay, so I've got two going here. Um, let's see, what can we do with this one? I'm just taking pieces of paper, guys. That's it. I saw some circles in here. Sometimes I'll just take my little circle punch and just punch out little circles of paper. That's what this is. Let's just take the circle punch and stick it right in the middle of that one. Okay, I'm gonna take this little piece, stick it right here. I'm gonna go slanty, slanty with it. Okay, let's get a tiny word. Actually, this one has Jesus on it, so I am going to get my faith stickers. I want to do a video to show how I do this necklace, but a different And I'm going to cut this one out that says prayers answered. So see how cute that is? How simple. It's just scrap paper. Okay, let's work on this one. I want to put a band in the middle. No, I don't really like that one. I think it needs more color. I think I'm going to cut this one down. I like this. could actually be my word sticker. With God, all things are possible. I like that. I think it needs something underneath it. I'm going to flag it. I'm going to shorten it. You don't want to flag it because that is a little tedious because it is small, but it needs something dark behind it. So let me find 
Ooh, this might be pretty. There's purple. Ooh, I found one. This will be pretty. Yeah. Am I staying in the screen? I'm going to put this one in the center. Ooh. My push power. Okay, I'm going to take this and use it as my words. Stick it right in the center there. And look how cute that is. Just out of scrap paper, you guys. Seriously, it doesn't get any simpler or cheaper than that. Should we do another one? What do you think, Brooke? Should we do another one? Uh, yes. I'm gonna rip this. See, at this point, I'm literally just picking scraps of paper up off of my desk. I'm gonna take this. And a different one after this. I don't think I can show this. I didn't need to go that far because this isn't big enough. I'm going to try to get it on here even so that it's sticking off the sides on both. It's even on both sides. Okay, um, let's do... Let me dig. See what I can pull out of the bottom. Oh yes, this one. This one's good. I love black with white polka dot. Let's put this on top. Okay, we even got this little tiny piece that I cut off. I'm going to stick it on here. I'm just going to layer. I'm just going to have fun with layers. Okay, that was just a tiny little piece that I cut off of something to make it smaller. I could have even used this ripped piece that would have been cool. But we'll just leave it like that and then let's look at what we want to use on here. White would be good. Let's use Don't Worry. in the center. Okay, what else should we do? Should we do some more of just the die cuts? Let me see how plain, how plain I can go here. Here's a piece of scrap that I have. Probably don't need to go all the way to the edges. But let's just layer this guy up. What do you say? of paper on him. I go to make embellishments with die cuts and I end up making scrap. 
embellishments. Oh well. You just gotta go with how your mind works. Um, I want another pink piece. That's the same paper as that other one, but that's okay. I have a lot of those pink strips ripped up. I used them for some a background on something. I mixed me a background, that's why I've got so much of it. And let's use this piece as just a extra piece of um, punched border that I had. Let's just put it on here. It's not even like even on the edges, but I don't care. We could even stick this piece that I cut off of that other one. Let's just stick it on here and it'll be on there like that. And let's find a word. Choose one of these. Compassion. A mouse. A mouse. A mouse. Come here. Well. And let's put it straight on there. A mouse in your pencil. You know, if you wanted to, you could even take this. You could back it onto something else. You've got all kinds of things. It doesn't really go good on a white part. I've got this big black heart, which I like it on. So I'm just going to put some glue on the edges so that it all sticks down. Why you saying no? Put it in the center. And if you don't want these sticking off like that, just rip them. So you guys, I don't want this video to be terribly long. I'm sorry my videos are so long. I hope that doesn't bother you guys or discourage you from watching or make you leave. I know that my videos are long, but you know, it, they just are. Um, if they're going to be in real time, they're going to be long. If you don't want them in real time, then I can speed through them and add music. Um, so you guys let me know what you like. It seems like my views have gone down the last couple of days, so I don't know if it's just because people are busy or if they just don't like the product, the projects that I'm doing. So let me know. I mean, you, I'll do what you guys want me to do, but I need to know. So it could just be that everybody's busy. You know, I understand that it's summertime, and um, they might just not like the painted book pages. I get it. I got really excited over that because I thought that it was neat. I like to paint book pages and I don't know. I got excited. But I won't do any more of those if you guys um, don't like doing those. I mean, I'll still do them. I just won't do it on camera. So anyways, guys, I'm going to let you go. So that's... Let me put them back out here so that you can have another look. I'll put pictures at the end so you guys can see close up. So these are the stars. Make wishes, believer. Another make wishes. Stay curious. Shine bright. Follow the stars. 
And then I did this simple heart. Don't worry. With God, all things are possible. Dwell in possibilities. Remarkable. Hello. Prayers answered. And compassion. Okay, so that was pretty simple. We got quite a few done in a short amount of time. So you guys, don't forget, it helps me a lot if you thumbs up my videos. Even if you thumbs down. Whether you thumbs it up or thumbs it down, it's still giving me credit all in the same way. It doesn't matter to Facebook. So you can thumbs it up or thumbs it down. It's still recognizing it as a positive thing, <laughs> so to speak. Regardless of if it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down, it's still a recognition to Facebook. So do that. Don't forget, it helps if you guys thumbs it. I know, I forget to do that all the time on videos. And um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Leave a comment, that always helps too. Um, let me know what videos you want to see. Um, yeah, let's just have a conversation. I respond to every comment on my channel. I make it a point to do that because I like to have a conversation with y'all. like to know what you're thinking. I want to get to know you. And don't forget, I'll have another live stream on Saturday. And um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing. I am still planning on doing the um, how I find images and printing them out, resizing them and printing them out. So I am still going to do that video. I just haven't been in the mindset. I'm not a real computer person, so that's going to take some work and I, I just haven't been in the mindset to do that but I am planning on doing that for you hopefully I'll get that done um, hopefully tomorrow I'm not making any promises but I plan on getting it done either tomorrow or the next day so with that being said I hope you all have a good morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the world and as always God bless, God bless. bye bye